So uh, yeah, we didn't die last night. We drove for about an hour. Well, we drove for longer than that actually, because uh, we went the wrong way. I think what people forget that is is when you're in Australia, when you're in the sort of like in the middle of nowhere, there's like hardly any lights and there's no light pollution, there's no nothing. And so you're driving down these roads and you have no idea where you're going. We ended up going the wrong way for about half an hour and then we would, we drove the right way for a full hour and we finally got to this rest stop for free. And now we're about to go and find civilization and a shop with some water and I'm tired as fuck, so. Good morning. the name of this Mil Milani Milani? <laughs> Mila Mila. Mila Mila Falls. It's humid, sweaty, rainy, hot. There's no Aldi's in North Queensland either which sucks. Mm. So we're gonna check out this waterfall and uh, and then we're heading towards another place <laughs> afterwards. We can hear the falls. Yeah let's go check it out shall we? <laughs> Brand new day. Yesterday we were at the waterfalls and uh, Chloe, what information did you find out about that waterfall that we were at yesterday? Um, Peter Andre's mysterious girl was apparently filmed there. We're at a new attraction. This is the Cathedral Fig Tree. It looks like we're the only ones here. Wow! <laughs> It's way more impressive than I thought. Crikey. Whoa. It's definitely more boring, inspiring than I thought it would be. It's massive. Behold the mighty cathedral. Look at that. I can't put it into words. It's just massive. Five hundred years old. Absolutely humongous. And now, on with our adventures.
update. We're officially in Cairns. Do you know what that means, Chloe? We did it. It means we did it. We drove from Melbourne to Cairns in a camper van. I'm gonna put the total number of miles just here. That's a lot of miles. That is a lot. What is your prediction? 2,500. My prediction is gonna be 2,201. Okay? That's my prediction, and that's the actual number. So yeah, we're here, we're at this uh, beautiful pool. We're at a little camp spot. Left to do on the to-do list is definitely have a Great Barrier Reef experience. Isn't that right, Chloe? Yeah. We have been thinking about living in the Gold Coast. Chloe got in touch with someone at the Gold Coast who is also from the UK and potentially might let us house share with her and she'll she's potentially leaving the country for a little while isn't she mm -hmm. so we might possibly have a place in the gold coast for a, for the foreseeable future we've got exactly a week left in this camper van from uh, autobahn travelers autobahn anyway gonna have a little bit of a swim and then we're gonna do laundry yeah we'll see you tomorrow Good morning. We're in Cairns still. Chloe's going to tell you what we're doing today. We're going to the aquarium. I can't really see today because I spent about four hours in the swimming pool in the campsite last night and uh, I opened my eyes for most of it. So everything's quite blurry for me. Here we are. Cairns Aquarium.
What do you reckon of that then, Chloe? Yeah, it was good. Yeah? yeah. That was actually really, really um, fascinating. <laughs> totally get absorbed in there. It's just like you're in another world, aren't you, really? Yeah. I've never seen some of those species before, especially no. that sawfish. Incredible. Yeah. I think that's uh, time for lunch. Sun. Yeah? yeah? You're on the sun. Yeah. Accurate. Got some news. The uh, road trip is coming to an end. We are at week seven or week eight. We're in the eighth week. Eight out of eight weeks. We are in Cairns and we are at we're at Crystal Cascades, which is apparently a waterfall. Multitude of waterfalls. Yeah, so we're just going to walk about us again and have a little look, see. We're trying to cram in something every single day before we have to give the uh, camper van back. You want to tell them the uh, the good news? Yes, we have a flight back to the Gold Coast, but because that is where we want to be. What's the plan? So we're going to hand in our camper van and then we're going to stay in a hostel here for a couple of nights or a few nights just to chill and uh, wait for our flight to the Gold Coast. From, well we're actually flying from Cairns to Brisbane and then from Brisbane we're going to get a train to the Gold Coast and then we're going to look for a place to live. We've been looking at house shares, been in touch with a couple of people to share a room with, not a room, a house with. Um, then we're going to look for jobs, apply for some jobs. And my real dream, I want to do some volunteer work with the animals. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's been happening, that's what will happen and and here we are today at the Crystal Cascades. Warning. This creek has claimed lives. Beware of rapidly raising, rising water levels. No swimming. No diving. No jumping off rocks. And that was the Crystal Cascades. Yes! Sweaty! Not bad, yeah. eh? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty hot up here, isn't it? It's wet. Like, the air is wet. Is this where Can Cairns gets all its water? Apparently so. This mm. is the town's water supply. Wow, look at that sweat. Absolutely sparkling. I'm guessing we're going to head back to the campsite now. Bye. Bye. Today is a very special day. We're going to the Great Barrier Reef. We're going diving. We're going to see all the creatures that live in the Barrier Reef. It's going to be amazing. We're going on a boat ride, like an hour out to sea. It's all a big day planned with breakfast and lunch and, you know, Chloe's organized the whole thing. So this is going to be amazing. It's 
6.30 in the morning and it is Anzac Day, which is, um, I'm yet to uh, learn about Anzac Day, but it's probably a, quite a big thing here. So we're going to get started, going to figure out where to go. Let's do this. Great Barrier Reef. Okay, so before we go any further, this is Barry. Barry is a barracuda. He has apparently been swimming around this same spot for around four to five years, probably because this is where the boat comes to the same spot every day with loads of tourists and all the members of staff for our food for Barry and some of the other fish. As you can see, Barry the Barracuda is apparently five foot long and he has insanely sharp teeth and can swim up to 35 miles per hour in little sharp bursts to catch his prey. He hasn't attacked any humans yet and we were told he's pretty harmless. So I guess we can say that we swam with a Barracuda. Hmm. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So uh, we're just waiting to go on this, which is a, um, a glass floor boat. Look. Wait a second. 
back in place. Thanks. So we couldn't really see much through the glass because it was all smeary and someone was kind enough to leave a massive footprint on the glass. Great. Other than that, it was really good to listen to the tour guides teach us about the Great Barrier Reef and the creatures that live in this habitat. So after that, we returned back to the boat and went to our next location. So apparently the boat goes to the same two spots in the Great Barrier Reef and they always feed the fish. So every time the boat pulls up to the spot, I guess the fish just know they're going to get fed. So hundreds turn up. We're back on the mainland. Did you have fun, Chloe? I had lots of fun. It was actually really, really cool, wasn't it? It was very cool. I threw up all oh, across dear. the side of the boat and fed the fish <laughs> with the inside of my stomach. It was really good, though, wasn't it? it was saw loads of fish, obviously. We saw turtles, we saw little clownfish and that was that's such a they were such a good team weren't they yeah the crew were very 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 nice and friendly and even when i was sick they were all very nice and they asked how i was afterwards i know <laughs> fetching you water and yeah. tissue what was the name what was the name of the um the company ocean free and ocean freedom yes so recommended absolutely recommend it because that was awesome very, it was very good it was very professional very uh well oiled machine <laughs> yeah well planned. really really good day loads of food Re definitely recommend it to if if you ever come into australia go to the barrier the great barrier reef 100 percent and now we're back at the van, and now it's pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza time. Let's go. Get the road, babe. Mm -hmm. 